Cocker Spaniels are more than pets. They are family, your family's well-being is your responsibility, they secretly dislike many human behaviors. Cocker Spaniels are obedient and laid back, so they usually accept this treatment. Here are 10 human behaviors that Cocker Spaniels hate. Part 2. If you haven't seen Part 1, you might consider watching it after you finish enjoying this video, or you might want to watch it first. If so, just check the link at the description and do as you please. Number 1. Teasing them with treats. Although it may appear to be nothing but a barrel of laughs from your point of view and much more so from the point of view of your cocker spaniel, this is by no means the case. Your pet should only be teased or tricked positively, and treats should only be used as a reward. You could also give your cocker spaniel a tasty treat when you see them doing what you want them to do, especially if you think they deserve it. Number 2. Same food over and over. Cocker spaniels often complain that they don't like it when their parents eat the best food and they only get dog food. They feel like it's not fair. At least once in a while, you should make your cocker spaniel a special lunch, and you should feed them the kind of food they like best. The good news is that you don't have to make a lot of changes to your spaniel's diet every day. Since dogs have a lot fewer taste buds than people do, they don't get as bored eating the same thing over and over again as people do. With that said, be certain that what you are providing them is nutritious. You should see our video on 11 foods that could be harmful to your cocker spaniel. Number 3. The Baby Treatment Many people who own cocker spaniels think that caring for their dogs means treating them like babies. It's important to remember that a dog is a dog and needs to be treated as such. When you ask a spaniel to do something he can't or doesn't understand, it can cause him to feel anxious and confused. A cocker spaniel that picks out expensive furniture or poops in the house is a common example. If you think this behavior has a human cause, you might think the dog is trying to get back at someone. In reality, the dog might be upset, have separation anxiety, be sick, or not know how to go to the bathroom properly. If you treat your spaniel like a baby, you might not be able to train it well or punish it correctly, and the real problem might even worsen. Some spaniel owners try to stop their dogs from doing things that come naturally to them, like sniffing their urine or sniffing each other from behind. When we do these things, we're not taking care of our cocker spaniels, we're just stopping them from being themselves. You should love your cocker spaniel for who they are. Number 4. Dinner Time Interruptions if someone kept touching you while you were attempting to eat, it would be annoying and distracting at the same time. Your cocker spaniel goes through the same identical sensations that you do when they are eating as you do yourself. Respect their choice while also allowing them to enjoy their life. Put the bowl in an area where there won't be any distractions and tell everyone else to move back and give the dog some room to eat while it's eating. You may cut down on the amount of dishes you have to clean up after your dog if you give it plenty of time to enjoy its meal and reduce the number of plates he uses. Number 5. Overexercise. When physically fit people go for daily runs or bike rides, they often take their cocker spaniels for company. But long runs can be hard or even harmful for some breeds or older dogs. For example, if your spaniel is older than 8, you should always talk to your vet and ask for advice about how much exercise it needs. Are you enjoying this video so far? Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss our latest contents. Number 6. Cleaning them too often. Cocker spaniels have their own way of keeping themselves clean, and their body odor is a way for them to talk to other dogs or animals. If you wash your spaniel too often when it's not dirty, you're not doing it any good. Also, it's important not to use scented products when you wash your spaniel. If their fur smells like scented shampoo, they may run outside and roll on the roughest thing they can find. Because they want to change the way their bodies feel. Number 7. Being the potty police. It would be in everyone's best interest if you weren't quite so adamant about your cocker spaniel going potty all the time, especially considering how often it happens. Dogs will regularly halt what they are doing in order to look around them and take a sniff of the air before continuing on with what they were doing. You are being cruel to your spaniel if you hurry through a walk with them and don't allow them to stop and smell the flowers along the way. If you do this, 
they will perceive the walk as being less enjoyable. Number 8. Arguing in front of them. Maybe you and your partner are arguing, and the conversation gets loud, or someone starts to cry. It's easy to forget that someone is watching the fight, your dog will be stressed out by it. Spaniels might try to stop a fight by barking or bringing you a toy. Some spaniels will also steal your favorite things because they know you will leave the fight to go after them. No matter what they do, when something is wrong, your dog agrees. You don't want to live in a hostile place, nor does your dog. Number 9. Ignoring them after you have a baby. Some people who have cocker spaniels don't pay attention to them when they bring a baby into the house. This could be hard for your cocker spaniel because they aren't the center of attention. Don't ignore your cocker spaniel when the baby is around. Instead, show your spaniel lots of love. Studies have shown that babies who have cocker spaniels are happier. Having a pet raises the amount of serotonin in the body. Serotonin is a happy chemical that makes people feel better and happier. Number 10. You give up. When you own a cocker spaniel, you have a lot of responsibilities. Sometimes it's best to find a new home for a dog, but some owners give up and don't try to fix the problems they're having with their pets. It's important to know that bad habits like destructive separation anxiety, aggression when on a leash, or going to the bathroom inside can get better with training and age. When its owner dies, a spaniel will feel sad for a while. They may pace and look for their former owners but not find them. People who move to a new place often hide or cower in fear until they get used to it. And almost all of the dogs that end up in shelters die there. Did you find this video worth watching? If you subscribe and hit the notification bell button right now, you won't miss our latest related contents created just for you. Don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Until then, have a good one.